What's going on dogs? Mr. Allen here. We got ourselves a dope application problem with looks like a, a regression model of some sort. So we got Rihanna. She started a new company and she has been doing work, 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 work. The regression function models the profits in thousands. We got P of T equals that mess right there. Now we want to know what are the profits at year three and what are the profits at year 16? All right, pretty simple question. So what do we do? Well, I'm assuming here that T is in years. Perhaps I should have written that. It got a little too full. So I'm just going to take three. I'm going to plug it in, right? So let's do that. So I'm just going to take out my TI. You know what? I'm going to plug this bad boy in here. And then in place of T in all three of these spots, I'm going to throw in three. So we have 0 0.031 parentheses, three, close them, raise to the third. Then I'm going to arrow over to get into the same line, all right? Then we have minus 1.004 parentheses, three, I'm gonna hit enter and we got 23.911 okay so 23.911 what does that mean here well it says the profits are in thousands of dollars here so that means i'm going to need to move this three decimal places so really it's going to be 23 uh thousand nine hundred eleven dollars beautiful wonderful now what if i said uh what are the profits uh to the nearest thousand dollars right to the nearest thousand dollars well that would be this guy right here right not nearest thousandths which is decimals but nearest thousand so i look at that nine that rounds up that three so i could say twenty four thousand dollars if i was writing to the nearest thousand okay so just a what if depending on the directions on uh, the particular problem your test whatever it may be okay next one we got 16. now for this here we can either retype it all in or you can write over the three so if i arrow up and I hit enter once my whole big thing is highlighted. I'm gonna go arrow back, I'm gonna type in 16, but I do have to hit second delete to insert in front of the parentheses so that I don't write over it because it's a two digit number as opposed to a one digit number. I'm gonna arrow back over to now the one that was being squared. I'm gonna hit one and then I'll hit second delete six and that allows me to put that 16 in the parentheses there. A little bit of a hassle, but better than rewriting the entire thing, right? Second INS. Hit number six there, boom, I got 16. I'm gonna hit enter, so I have 16s in everything here. And now for this one, I end up with negative, negative 9.681, ooh, ooh. Rihanna's having a down year, you know, but I'm thinking she'll bounce back based on this being a cubic regression. So maybe she's in like, maybe it's something like this, right? Okay, and we got a little graph going on, right? They were profitable, life was good. Maybe we we're like right around here, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, it's gonna be okay, Rihanna. It's gonna be okay. So what are my profits though, to answer the question here? Well, it's gonna be negative 9,000, uh, let's see here, $681. Okay, so that's our negative profits. Or again, if we were asked maybe to the nearest thousand dollar, we're looking at negative uh, negative ten thousand, negative ten thousand dollars, right? Those are our profits there. Or maybe I just said to the nearest hundred dollars. Well, that eight would round up that six, so I'd be negative nine thousand seven hundred dollars. So there we have it, folks. Right, multiple scenarios here, exactly what we wanted from the model. But uh, over here, we are going to the nearest hundred, or nearest thousand, or nearest ten thousand, whatever it may be. Whatever the question asks, just make sure that you read it, left to right, top to bottom. That's dope, Rihanna. You're gonna bounce back. I believe in you, and I believe in all of you. Deuces.